I'm never gonna be more prepared than I am now because I have all of this experience. I've been through so much with this sport that I'm ready. Like I'm ready for this pressure that I'm feeling, this excitement, this anticipation. So I'm glad that I could come here and, and enjoy this experience. Olympics are all about timing, right? Because you can be great right in the middle of a quad and it just is unfortunate timing. I was really great in the middle of a quad. <laughs> and then I went through kind of like, you know, a little bit of a down period. And I think that's really why I was able to have success this year. It's, I really feel fortunate because I know some people don't have it so easy. And I feel like I was just really handed off into some really great environments. Um, and that's really what kept my outlook so positive. And it wasn't easy, it wasn't always easy, right? Like even last year I had a disappointing nationals to be at this huge moment in 2020, like this amazing skate, and then not even make the podium last year. After winning Skate America too, earlier in the season, it was heartbreaking. And I, I remember like feeling just really so heartbroken. For sure, having that moment last year made this moment this year feel so much better. You know, my parents give me such a great perspective. At the end of the day, if I had made this team or not, I would still be healthy. I would still have family that loves me. I would still go home to a dog that I'm obsessed with and have an incredible life in California. Nothing that I do in skating is gonna affect those things. And so during this horrible time that the world has seen, I've been able to stay healthy. My loved ones have been able to stay healthy. I'm really grateful. So all of this extra stuff is just, you know, icing on the cake. And that's what I strive for. Obviously, that's not always my mindset. I'm also a competitor through and through. You know, I have disappointing days. I have heartbreaks with this sport, you know, like anyone. But I do genuinely try to keep that outlook, that more positive outlook. So I wanted a dog. So I wanted a German Shepherd specifically. So my sister has a German Shepherd. My parents have a German Shepherd. So I was like, it's my turn. I want a German Shepherd. And actually my dad called me, we were both looking online. He's like, I don't know if this is real or not, but this place says they have three German Shepherd girls, which I wanted a girl. And their birthday is April 18th and my birthday is April 18th. And I was like, I'm canceling the rest of the things I'm doing all day long. You know, they bring these puppies out and they're like, okay, you can pick which one you want. And Nala, my puppy came straight to me and I was like, this is her. And then we just went home. <laughs> The culture of skating is so young. At 15, 16, you're pretty much almost on your way out in a lot of ways. I love that it's like such a topic because for me, it's just not. It's not a topic of conversation. Who cares? I'm 25. And I was talking with my coach, Adam. It's like being 25 is like my superpower. It's brought up a lot because there is a stigma around age. Honestly, I'm just doing what I love. I think over the years, you look at Michelle and Sasha, they were around for so long and that's why they were so loved. And I'm not at that level, right, of you know nine or eight national titles, but I definitely hope that I can just be a story and a message that you know, greatness can happen at an, at an early age. It can happen at a later age. You know, Alyssa Lou, I'm on the team with her, won her first national title when she was 13 or 14. That's incredible. You know, that's her journey. My journey was I had to be 25 to win. <laughs> it is really an honor to be the oldest US lady on this Olympic team in so long. I'm ready now to step into that spot. I've been close before, and now I feel like I, you know, I'm so confident in who I am and the skater that I am. Now I'm ready to be in that position. But I just want people to know that, you know, if you have a dream and you want to chase it, like there truly is no expiration date on that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.